last 24 hours outside of China. So the whole world outside of China, the number of confirmed cases has increased 21.71%. Uh, in the last 24 hours, the death toll outside of China has increased 24.67% due the, to the coronavirus. And the U.S. specifically, um, we went from 86 confirmed cases yesterday morning to 105 now. So in 24 hours, it has increased over 22% for confirmed cases in the U.S. Uh, South Korea now has over 5,000 cases, over 2,000 cases in Italy, and over 1,500, these are confirmed cases, over 1,500 confirmed cases in Iran. There's uh, you know, 10 countries with at least triple digit confirmed cases, with quite a few countries of at least 1,000 confirmed cases. And that's not including the uh, Diamond Princess ship. So that, that's not including that in, into this, these two categories, obviously. So we got some of the stats out of the way. So yesterday there was a, a pretty good briefing between Trump and a few um, um, uh, vaccine uh, pharma executives. So we uh, th there's uh, some companies that said that they can have it out at the end of this year for phase one. Uh, one said that it can have it out by August for phase one. So phase one is basically coming up with the, uh, the vaccine and getting it ready for testing. And testing, I've read, uh, the trials can take anywhere from um, it's uh, eight months to ten months is what I've read. So we might be looking at a vaccine anywhere from the middle of next year to late next year. Uh, and there's there's some evidence to suggest that this is going to be a yearly thing like the flu, which we expect this to peak in April and then slowly decline. So um, generally. Uh, but, you know, obviously this is caught on um, a little bit later in countries like the U.S., uh, South America, Africa, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, obviously we've had our state of emergencies in, Rhode, uh, I believe, Rhode Island, but I know San Fran, uh, Washington, and Florida. And obviously it's hitting a, a nursing home and an elderly community very hard in Washington State. Uh, mainly King County. I know there's at least 18 confirmed cases in Washington State alone. There's only, so the U.S. has 105 cases, six of those cases are deaths, and seven of those cases are recoveries. So we're looking at far more active cases compared to recovery cases. And, and that's uh, troublesome because um, from what we've heard in the last 24 hours from the CDC, um, I think it was the CDC, it might have been HHS, uh, but uh, from the CDC, they said that people can have this virus actively. I mean, not just asymptomatic, but actually have it and shed the virus um, for up to 20 days later. But we don't know if they can still spread it after that uh, up to 20 day period, meaning that they can get rid of the virus, the coronavirus, and then possibly still spread the virus. We're not sure if, that, if that's the case or not. Um, so... As something to keep in mind. So, um, in terms of testing, uh, I know there's a lot of people that are mad that hey, it costs three thousand dollars to test uh, individuals for the coronavirus, but the tests are very limited. So, from a briefing yesterday with uh, the governor of Washington and a few experts that work for the government, um, particularly in the state of Washington, uh, we know that they can only test up to a hundred people per day. It takes two tests per person, um, and those tests cost quite a bit of money. So the U University of Washington is actually trying to, um, you know, uh, embolden themselves to where they can actually double that amount um, and help with the testing to where we can get 200 people tested per day in Washington State, um, and that's two tests per person. Uh, so two te uh, 200 tests, and it takes, uh, they, they test people, and then they usually find out the next morning if they have it or not. And these tests aren't very accurate. I mean, it's, it's uh, shocking how inaccurate these tests are compared to our other viruses and uh, illnesses and diseases and such. Um, we, we've had people in California that have been tested and then tested again, and they actually had it on the second test or they failed the second test in some countries, and then they ended up having it um, where, where we take one test and then do a, another test like two or so days later. And then after that second test, uh, much later we found out that they actually do 
or didn't have the virus, which is uh, pretty troublesome. So there's, um, I know in Washington State, there's an official CDC hotline for the, oh, not CDC, but a coronavirus, coronavirus hotline for, for uh, uh, run by the government. So if, if you're in one of these areas like Florida, New York City has the uh, case that I, I think it was uh, the mayor of New York City said that's gonna hit New York. Um, it's expected. You know, they're expecting this. You know, it would be weird if it didn't for New York City. So I expect there to be a hotline for the a coronavirus hotline uh, in New York City, Florida, if there isn't already. We got the two cases uh, in Rhode Island with unknown origin, which is uh, pretty scary. So, you know, if, if you live in one of these hot spots, uh, tr uh, Toronto uh, has 17 cases. Uh, and then you have London, Canada, and uh, another small town in the area, which is basically Toronto, but uh, they're kind of uh, not including that within Toronto. Um, London, I mean, London, Canada. But uh, you, you got a whole bunch of cases in that area, which is close to Detroit, uh, the Great Lakes, to Toledo, Ohio, that sort of area in that region. Um, so the, the CDC and some other experts uh, have been going over ways to uh, help not spread the coronavirus. So Washington State, um, the governor and other officials have said, you know, try not to go to public places, uh, like concerts, or try not to fly unless you have to, um, that sort of thing. And if you're coughing, do not visit the elderly like a family member, because uh, you could be sick, even if it's not the coronavirus, it could be the flu, but uh, if it's the coronavirus, we know that this is very deadly for the elderly. First person that died in the US wasn't even elderly, that went in their 50s, which is not really elderly nowadays. Um, so that's something to think about. Um, they also said, wash your hands for 20 seconds thoroughly, and, um, uh, we, we now know that the uh, the uh, hand sanitizer does work, but it has to have at least 60% uh, alcohol in it to work. So that does work. I'm washing your hands uh, very well for at least 20 seconds, the, uh, going through the birthday song, happy birthday song or whatever uh, stuff. Uh, but uh, that's just something to think about, some ways to mitigate uh, and, and make you safer in your community a little bit better. Um, obviously, it's always a good time to uh, prepare for an, an epidemic in your area. Obviously, I think it's fair to say that we have a pandemic uh, globally, but um, you know, it's always good to prepare for an epidemic in your area, meaning that you know, get medication, get fluids that are going to last for a few weeks, I would say, uh, medication, fluids, calories. Um, hygiene and luxury stuff like batteries, um, heaters, uh, things like that. Um, you know, I, I got medication. I have a few kids and the old lady, and medication that you would want to get would would be you know the basically from what I've read the same thing that you would want to get for the uh, flu, over the counter stuff or pneumonia, and this medication lasts generally over a year, um, things that help reduce fever, and then cough, cold, and flu stuff uh, that, that tackles those kind of sorts of things. So, you know, there's no official medications for the coronavirus. Uh, and if someone's trying to s sell you a special drug or something like that, I mean, obviously that's, that's a uh, snake oil. Um, so I'm trying to make a buck, but, um, you know, get that. I I go shopping um, at uh, at the supermarket when it you know it's pretty early in the day. I even go at like midnight or one o'clock one o'clock a.m. But um, you know, I I would say try not to be around a lot of people because if it doesn't turn into a epidemic in your area, expect there to be a lot of people. Some of those people could have the virus. Um, so I always think it's better to prepare ahead. And, you know, avoid those crowds like, you know, the officials in Washington State stated, especially if there's cases in your area. Uh, you know, obviously we know that there's could be hundreds of cases in Louisville um, that people are being looked at. There could be thousands more in New York, 
uh, right now. And yeah, that's just something to think about. Um, definitely emphasize if, if you think you could be sick, um, don't, don't uh, try not to pass it on to the young and the elderly. That should be common sense, but uh, just something to think about. And yeah, we'll see, I haven't seen any new deaths uh, in the US, so that's, a good, that's good news. Um, numbers keep climbing though. Like I said, quadrupled and less, or more than quadrupled in a week in terms of confirmed cases and the number of deaths outside of China. So, but yeah, um, see how this primary goes today. Looking forward to that. Might do a video on that. Still need to do that video on um, Bernie Sanders healthcare costs and whatnot. But um, you know, you you've heard it here. Stats, the numbers don't lie. Uh, we we now have basically Iran's parliament getting ran through with this virus, which is crazy. Yeah, they're top, top people. And uh, there's there's uh, been articles uh, from legit sites, obviously, uh, that suggest that the number of deaths could be over 200 in Iran instead of just, uh, I'm trying to think of the number, 77 or something like that. I'll have to look at it. I use the Johns Hopkins uh, uh, research stuff for all this, so all official sourcing. Numbers don't lie. Um, China lies. So that's why I use a lot of numbers for outside of China, a very authoritarian uh, uh, communist uh, state. So don't trust them. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes and expect more of the same tomorrow. Uh, hopefully no more deaths in the U.S.